It's so nice, so happy to meet all of you good souls, good hearts. My loving regards to all of you. Très heureux de rencontrer toutes ces, toutes ces âmes qui vous êtes, ces belles âmes. Je suis très heureux de vous rencontrer. Hare Krishna. So, Hare Krishna. All glories to Sri Guru Gauranga Nittananda, Radha Krishna Chandra, Jai Radha Madan Mohan Radha Govinda Gopinachi. I offer my loving respects to all of you. The, <coughs> J'offre mes hommages respectueux à tout un chacun. Om Bande Ham Sri Guru Sri Juta Padokamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavam Sri Rupam Shagrajatam Shahogana Raghunatham Mitha Shajiva Shabdaitam Shabadhutam Parijana Shahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Sri Radha Krishna Padam Shahogana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Nitaamscha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adyaita Gadadhara Sri Vashadi Gauravakita Vrinda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Nanda Sri Adyaita Vadad Sri Vashadi Kaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So So today I just spontaneously want to Okay, give some illumination on some points important for all the sincere devotees to know about. Okay, all right. Aujourd'hui, je veux donc me concentrer sur des points bien précis qui vont certainement illuminer la vie des dévots sérieux. Okay. So recently. Some of the devotees asked me a question on, you know, on the wider meaning, the real proper meaning about the verse of Bhagavad Gita, which is known as Opichet Shudura Charu, Bhajate Ma Mananna Bhak, Shadhureva Samantabha Shammak Babushito Hisha. So, mm. Oui, donc récemment j'ai reçu une question quant au verset de la Gita 930 à Pichet ou Dalachalo, et je veux donc me concentrer sur ce point. The, the devotee requested me to give some proper clarifications okay, about the meaning and the meanings of such verse because some confusion, according to him, there is some confusion is there in the mind of some devotees thinking that one can be an Anunnabhak devotee, meaning that one, one can also engage in exclusive bhajanam, okay, exclusive you know, bhajanam of the Supreme Lord while engaged 
in bad things, doing wrong activities, sudura charo. How can it be possible? That was his question. So he wants me to give more proper clarifications on that so that no confusion remains. Donc, souvenez-vous en question à poser cette question particulièrement parce que il voulait savoir, et cela concerne autrui également, il voulait savoir pourquoi, si l'on est engagé dans Anania Bhakti, comment est-ce possible d'accomplir des activités qui sont néfastes, qui sont, qui sont mauvaises Comment est-ce possible So this verse, I repeat, this verse, Opichet Sudura Charu, Hajati Mam Anunnabhag from Bhagavad Gita, is sometimes misinterpreted or misunderstood as like giving some license or just supporting, validating some possibilities by the Lord that a devotee of mine can be engaged can continue to be engaged in doing some wrong activities, very bad sudurachara, bad evil kind of activities, at the same time, can also be my pure devotee, can also be engaged in my exclusive okay, devotional life, devotional practice. But actually we understand this is a paradox. This cannot happen like that, it's self-contradictory. So no. if it is explained, if the meaning of such verse is explained in this way, that somebody can be engaged in exclusive devotional, you know, worship of the Lord, exclusive, you know, bhajana of the Lord, at the same time can also be engaged in many wrong, very bad activities. Okay, so this is okay. very wrong explanation. Donc, là, voilà le sujet en question qui est très important pour nous tous. On pourrait, penser, on pourrait porter à croire que ce verset stipule la pure dévotion, ce qui est le cas. Mais comment est-ce possible, encore une fois, d'être catégorisé comme un pur dévot Ananya Bhakti, et en même temps s'engager dans des activités sous Doulachar, qui sont abominables. Donc il y a un net besoin de clarification quant à ce verset. C'est est un sujet à caution, et on pourrait très facilement le mal interpréter. Donc il y a vraiment besoin de clarifier la chose. Est-ce possible de faire les deux en parallèle Être un pur dévot, et en parallèle continuer les activités Abominable. Hence, the actual proper meaning of such verse, of this verse, Upichet Sudura Charu Bhajati Imam Ananyabha, is that, that what, in other words, what Lord actually means is that that someone who was engaged, who was very much engaged in doing many bad activities, very even evil, evil activities, Sudurachāro, but coming in contact with some high-class sadhus or by some divine grace, higher blessings in his life with some, due to some Shukriti, he or she already gave up, already gave up that Sudurachāru activity, is that very bad, you know, evil type of activities, and then started engaging in my bhajana. That's what Supreme Lord Krishna means. That is not that his bad, his bad or 
very wrong activity is still going on in his life. He still is engaged, continuing to be engaged in that very wrong and bad evil activity at the same time engaging in my uh, exclusive bhajan. It's not that. Rather, he used to be Opiche Sudurachāro. He used to be uh, a person of bad activity, man of so many, you know, so much evil, uh, very, most wrong kind of activities. But by some shukriti, by some higher blessings, due to the higher association of some sadhus, he started changing. And in course of changing, he started becoming attracted with me to my bhajana. At some point, he began to do exclusive bhajana of mine, engaging in exclusive bhajana of mine. That's what Supreme Lord means. Thank you, Maharaj. So, la compréhension profonde de ce verset est la suivante. Quelqu'un qui auparavant s'adonnait à des activités répréhensibles, abominables, néfastes, par la grâce de Krishna, par la grâce de Devo, par le biais de Sukriti, il va en venir à rencontrer le Seigneur suprême et il va donc passer d'activités qui étaient abominables, il va devenir au fil du temps, il va devenir un pur dévo. Il, il va s'adonner au bhajan de Krishna. Il va donc changer, se purifier et s'adonner exclusivement au bhajan de Krishna. Voilà la signification de ce verset et non pas le fait de faire les deux en même temps, à savoir continuer les activités répréhensibles, abominables et en parallèle croire que l'on est qu'on s'adonne au bhajan de Krishna et qu'on est donc de ce fait un pur dévot. Non, il n'y a pas de parallèle. On parle d'un dévot qui vient, qui provient d'un horizon abominable, d'accord, mais suite à la, pratique, à la sucrétie qu'il a reçue de dévot avancé, la grâce ou la grâce de Krishna directement, il devient exclusivement au fil du temps, il s'adonne au Krishna bhajan. Voilà la compréhension exacte. Thank you. So I repeat, little in other words. So now I'm going to explain word by word. It is clearly so that it's clearly understood by the devotees. Maintenant, je vais so, expliquer le mot à mot de ce verset afin que ce soit bien compris de nous tous. So, opichet, although. Even if Sudurachāro hmm, engaged in you know, too, much, too much bad, wrong activities, evil activities, okay. bhajate mam, yet engages in my bhajana, ananna bhak, with exclusive mind and heart, a dedicated mind and heart. Okay, Prabhu. Yes, I stopped. Okay. Apichet, donc même si, même si le candidat, tout de la chaleur, ça donne à des activités diaboliques, démoniaques, bajate, néanmoins, il s'engage dans le service de dévotion. Bajate mam, donc service de dévotion à moi, dit Krishna. Et ananyabak, ça veut dire sans déviation. So when Lord says, Opichet Sudurachāro, even if, although, okay, someone, someone is engaged in greatly wrong activities, very, very bad activity, okay, Don't, it means, sorry. although someone used to be, was engaged, not is engaged, mm. Not in present sense. Yes. Although someone used to be, was, was being 
mm. engaged in some very wrong, bad activities, even evil activities in his life. But then, okay, by some higher blessings, by the potency of some higher divine grace and blessings in his life, some Shukriti or some Sadhu Sangha, okay, mm. has got, okay, has got the connection of engaging in, entering into the world of my exclusive bhajan. Mm. My God has, has received that connection, okay, due to some causeless mercy, mm. which is through the sadhu or through mine, all right? So, mm. receive some connection of engaging uh, in my exclusive bhajana with single point attention, whole, with, with whole heart, mm. okay? That's what Lord Krishna means. Okay. So, here the point is that not that at present time he is doing both. Mm. On one hand, he is engaging in very wrong, bad activities. On the other hand, also side by side engaging in my exclusive uh, service, in my exclusive bhajan. It's mm. not that. Okay, so this is a clear meaning. Super. Donc, encore une fois, on parle au passé. Un dévot qui, dans le passé, avait des activités désastreuses, abominables, maintenant, par la grâce de Krishna, par des bénédictions qu'il a reçues de Sadhu, par la Sukriti, par Sadhu Sangha, il en vient à ce verset. Maintenant, il s'adonne. Au fil du temps, il s'adonne, Bajate Mamanayabak, dans ma dévotion, dans mon monde à moi, dévotion exclusive à ma personne de ce plan. Voilà la signification de ce verset, et non pas les deux en parallèle. Il faut que ce soit bien compris. Ok, yes. So, it's like that. I give you example. Let me just give you example. Like when, when we see a very seriously ill person, in other words, when someone is very, very sick, very seriously sick person, then treatment begins. So, along with the continuation of the proper treatment, sickness is being reduced. Although that person is considered call as oh, very, very sick, oh, most infectiously, you know, diseased, sick person, okay, heavily sick person. But as soon as some treatment started, the sickness getting reduced, being cured, process started, process of curing from that heavy sickness started. So, as much as that heavy sickness is being cured, that person getting healthy, although not completely healthy yet, but on the way to be healthy, to recovery of the health, a similar way. Hmm. So, upiche sudurachara means, although heavily, a person with heavy wrong activities, heavy evil activities, mm. okay? But it's like heavy sickness, mm. great yeah. sickness, intense sickness. Mm. But in the process, somehow or other, when the, with the blessings, some process of bhajana started, anartha nivritti starting mm. with the help of the, the grace of the sadhus, uh, higher grace from the Supreme Lord and sadhus, shukriti, process has started. Then, starting to go into the world of exclusive bhajana, mm. okay, coming away from the from his life of the very of bad activity, evil activities, evil engagements. Mm. So that's how it is said, bhajate maam ananna bhak. As the more the sickness is being cured, he is coming towards health. 
being okay and have embracing the health in that way bhajana at mm. some point when the sickness is totally cured now he got total health he obtained complete health that is at that means engaging in ananya bhajana mm. is exclusive bhajana yes maharaj donc prenons le cas d'un malade profondément infecté maladie grave maladie dangereuse il est en mauvaise posture bien sûr il reçoit un traitement c'est déjà une grâce il reçoit des bénédictions la grâce sadhu sangha donc il se soigne il a entrepris le traitement il a commencé le processus de guérison il se soigne il se soigne il s'améliore sa santé s'améliore et petit à petit toujours par la grâce divine des dévots de Krishna des bénédictions il en vient à rentrer dans ce monde de Krishna Bhajan Bhajan Mam à Krishna Ananya Bhak il en vient à venir dans ce monde de plus en plus il pénètre ce monde voilà la signification de ce verset Sudam Thakur Koi Okay so again he are engaging in ananya bhajan or exclusive devotion to lord krishna okay exclusive bhajan or devotional life of devotional service to krishna means like receiving complete health getting okay in, uh, how to say attaining mm. achieving the complete health at least relatively complete health being completely cured from the sickness mm. that's how it is happening but not that oh sickness and health sick having heavy sickness and also recovery of the total health all going taking place together mm. no then that will be a total paradox it will be self contradictory lord yes. krishna never means anything self contradictory yes thank you it's like darkness and light yes darkness and light cannot stay cannot be mixed together yes. then it becomes self contradictory it can never happen one cannot say i want to make something out of stone but it has to be golden it has to be made of gold while i am preparing making it out of stone it cannot happen like that either it will be made of gold or made of stone okay mm. so in a similar way one cannot say oh it is looking so black because it is so white oh it is looking so dazzlingly white because it is so black color these are mm. all self contradictory things mm. so in a similar way Shudurachāro and Ananya Bhajan cannot go on together, mm. <coughs> so it has to be understood. Thank you, Maharaj. Donc, Shudurachāro et Bhajana Ananya Bhajate Mama Ananya Bhag ne peuvent pas aller ensemble. On ne peut pas prétendre que de la pierre va jaillir l'or. Non, c'est pas possible. Donc, encore une fois, la personne se purifie. Elle provient d'un horizon. abominable, d'accord, mais elle se purifie au contact des sadhus, au contact des bénédictions, elle en vient à pénétrer ce monde de la Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhajan. Mais encore une fois, il n'y a surtout pas de, de contradiction dans les propos de Krishna. Il ne faut pas les mal interpréter. Ce n'est pas deux choses en parallèle. <coughs> On est bien d'accord. La personne provient d'un horizon néfaste, funeste, mais au contact des bénédictions des dévots de Krishna, elle en vient à s'adonner au Krishna Bhajan. Là, d'accord. Là, il va y avoir un changement profond. Mais surtout pas ne pas conclure que on peut décemment faire les deux en même temps. Ça serait une très mauvaise contradiction et ça serait un, un déshonneur envers Krishna de penser ainsi. So in the next line, Lord says, "Shadureva samantabhya samag babushito hisa." 
by the next line lord krishna says some person okay some devotee of mine such devotee i should rather say such devotee of mine who used to be engaged in some heavy wrong activities bad sinful activities but now have already started okay doing my ananya bhajan doing my bhajana with all mind and heart whole heartedly sadhur eva samantabba he has to be recognized as sadhu no mistake no doubt about he must be in that state he must be recognized as a real sadhu sadhur eva samantabba one has to one has to call him mantabba means mantabba means call him or he has to be defined recognized as real sadhu and now since now he is being engaged in my exclusive bhajana so he is well situated he is very very properly appropriately okay uh, most appropriately situated in his life okay so that he can achieve the highest benefit highest benediction highest good of life through my exclusive bhajana hmm. donc même si ce dévot en question provient d'un horizon abominable ici la troisième ligne est très claire regardez ça nous les va ça monte bien dès l'instant qui ça donne que krishna bhajan exclusivement il est rentré dans ce monde du bhajan de krishna il s'y adonne corps et âme on doit le considérer comme un sadhu samantavya ça veut dire on doit l'appeler on doit le considérer ainsi comme un sadhu ça y est il a il est il est pratiquement exclusivement accaparé dans le monde de krishna bhajan donc on doit l'appeler ainsi c'est confirmé ici par ce sadhu completed prabhu yes prabhu maharaj sorry samak babashito hisa now that means why lord krishna is particularly pointing out about that fact he should be he should be must be called defined or recognized as real sadhu at this point with the beginning of my ananya bhajanam and why he should be recognized as well situated okay to receive the highest good of life through my bhajana mm. because reason is that that don't don't be judging that devotee of mine based on what he did in past mm. past is past mm. over now you have to judge him you have to judge him understand him respect him with his present wonderful present change very positive stand situation of his life engaging in my devotional service when somebody becomes my devotee even if in spite of having bad past okay some some sinful past that that devotee cannot be judged or considered like sinful because because he was he used to be engaged in some sinful activities in the past because mm. he has already been purified mm. by my bhajana by the gracious power divine power of my bhajana mm. he has been totally purified he has been holified by my grace this is my power this is the most holy higher divine power transcendental power of my bhajana mm. so that it is so powerful that it can also qualify that sinful person to become liberated it can qualify okay that's even 
some that person with some sinful character history in the past from the past okay now to be transcendentally qualified spirit highly spiritually divinely qualified as sadhu mm. due to the empowerment potency divine potency of my bhajana understand mm. this therefore don't be don't be trying to judge him mm. again wrongfully by some you know bad past mm. that he used to be engaged in sinful activity no more because now he has become my devotee and my devotee must be respected called recognized as my devotee and mm. you all must respect him as a real sadhu now never try to judge him by past then he will become offender mm. offending my devotee because mm -hmm. he has been cured now he has been completely healthy mm. so you cannot call a healthy person uh, a sick sick man because he used to be sick in the past exactly thank you maharaj yes. donc par le la puissance inouïe de mon bhajan krishna ji par la puissance inouïe de mon bhajan krishna ji ce devo est parvenu au pur service de dévotion en aucune façon on, on peut le considérer de par son passé c'est une grave offense il est maintenant guéri il a retrouvé la pleine santé par la bénédiction on l'a vu des dévots de krishna la puissance inouïe de du krishna bhajan lui a permis d'être très bien situé. Il doit être appelé un sadhu dans tout le sens du terme. On ne peut en aucune façon, sous prétexte qu'il était malade, fut un temps dans le passé, on ne peut en aucune façon, en aucune façon considérer que c'est le passé, c'est fini. Maintenant, il est guéri, il est, il est d'aplomb, il est tout à, tout à fait absorbé dans, dans mon bazar, hein, exclusivement. Donc voilà sa nouvelle identité, sa nouvelle appartement. On doit oublier le passé. And the, in the next lines, Lord said, Kshiprang bhavati dharumatma shashat chanting nigachati kaunteva pratijanihi name bhakta pranashati by and by. Very, very soon, that devotee of mine who is now engaged in my exclusive bhajana, ananna bhajana with so much uh, love and dedication in my service. Okay. Very, very soon, he is going to be a great dharmatma. Dharmatma means like acharya, mm. a great devotee, a great greatly saintly person okay will be will be recognized very soon is going to be recognized as great leader hmm, of the spiritual practices dharmatma means a, a foremost religious person here religious means not in formal sense I mean, higher spiritual sense, divine sense. Mm. So, by and by, very, mm. very soon, he is going to be qualified as a great, foremost religious leader, mm. a pioneer, mm. a foremost example uh, in the world of spirituality, spiritual advancement. So, okay, first translate, then I will. Yes. Donc, on passe au verset 31, 9-31. Kipram, très vite. Bhavan Dharmatma, il va devenir un Dharmatma. Donc, Maharaj a beaucoup focalisé sur ce mot Dharmatma. Ça veut dire un Acharya. 
Donc, Dharmatma, c'est vraiment un terme important. Maharaj a beaucoup capitalisé sur ce mot. Ça veut dire quelqu'un qui est profondément religieusement avancé, mais pas juste religieusement au terme que l'on connaît. Non, religieusement, ça veut dire spirituellement avancé. C'est un acharya, c'est un maître, c'est un exemple. Donc voilà, voilà le candidat. Imaginez où il est rendu maintenant. C'est devenu un dharmatma. Il est extrêmement bien situé par la grâce de Krishna. Again, dharmatma means a foremost religious personality. A foremost devotee with all high class religious qualities, spiritual qualities, okay, becoming an example also before others. That is called Dharmatma here. Hmm. Donc, effectivement, Maharaj continue sur ce terme Dharmatma. C'est un exemple, c'est une autorité. Est un, il est totalement établi dans la plus haute forme de spiritualité. Donc, donc, mon cher Konteya, c'est Ardou, bien sûr, qui m'est très cher. Donc, je le déclare, je le promets. Ce dévot sera constamment protégé par moi. Il ne va jamais périr. Non, il ne va jamais périr. Ce dévot, ce dévot bénéficie de ma protection éternelle. So even if someone with a sinful past later on being converted, transformed into my devotee, then his life is saved. His life is, or her life is totally saved. I fully take care of that devotee. So in this way, you must promise Okay, I, I, I tell you with promise that my devotee is never perished. Ainsi, même si quelqu'un a fait des activités pécheresses dans le passé, se convertit plus tard et se transforme en mon dévot, alors sa vie est sauvée. Sa vie est totalement sauvée. Je m'occupe entièrement de ce dévot. De cette façon, je dois promettre je vous fais cette promesse que jamais mon dévot ne périra.